Hi everyone. Welcome back to another Wednesday where we are advancing the kingdom of God. Now you can expect us every Wednesday coming on here. This is our third Wednesday on a row. If you haven't uh, seen all of them, go back to our videos, even on the archive of Facebook or YouTube, and you will see uh, the different uh, sermons that we had or the, the, the words that we had on advancing the kingdom of God, which we're doing every Wednesday now. So welcome again, everybody who has not connected with us via text. Uh, praise God. We have a good amount of you already there where you're receiving our updates and keeping up with uh, what the Lord is doing and and how um, he's using us and the, the ministry and everybody that we are affiliated with in the community and uh, in advancing the kingdom of God. So if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and text hello to the number you see on the screen. It's 941-205-7474. And we'd love to connect with you um, more than just hearing from us. We want to hear from you. So we've been able to, as early as a few days ago, connect with somebody who needed prayer for her son. And we were able to get him on the phone and pray with him and uh, believe God with him that uh, he would reestablish his connection with God. And he just came to the Lord, fully committed his life to Christ. And, you know, we know that there are hurdles in the way, but we know that he's at a better place now than he was before that phone call. So we're able to stand with you and agree with you in, in prayer and um, and really connect on a personal level the way that we like to connect. Maria loves text. I do. That's my favorite. If you want to reach me, don't call me. Text me. Yep. And uh, my name is Renan DeBarros, if this is your first time watching us. And this is Maria DeBarros, my lovely wife. <laughs> and uh, we're here to talk to you today about activating God's gifts in your life. So I want to talk about some keys and a little bit of backstory on what the Bible says about things that the Word of God mentions for us today. Things that God has even put in your future before you even walk in into it, God has already prepared things for you and things in the power of God that he wants to activate in your life so you can live a prosperous life, so you can live a powerful life and you can help with the preaching of the gospel and the manifestation of the Holy Spirit and his things onto the earth as these days are winding up. There's no more important time than right now to activate in the gifts of God and the calling that we have in our lives so that we can advance His kingdom. Two things I know for sure are going to be happening. One of them is the unification of the body of Christ. The yeah. Bible says that Jesus is coming back for a spotless bride and there is going to be a unified body through the gifts and things that God has given us that we're going to come together in unity. And the other thing is the preaching of the gospel to the ends of the world. So. I am believing God that he is using me and Maria and we're believing that God is using us and that everybody who's been connecting with us and walking in this walk of faith with us, we are believing yep. God is using us for this end times where we're going to be more unified than ever. We're going to work together as a body more than ever and we're going to manifest the power of the Holy Spirit and preach the gospel with boldness more than ever. Amen. Amen. We go back into jail next week. Yes, you do. Yeah, the women are not ready yet, but <laughs> the men, they have uh, actually pre prepared a way for us to go in and minister to the men in Manatee County Jail again. So I'll be going back next Wednesday. We will be, as a team, going back next Wednesday uh, to, to minister to the men in there. So that, that is a blessing. And that's part of our calling at, at, uh, to reaching out to the people who need the gospel and need to hear the gospel along with other things that we're doing in the community too a lot of people a lot of you know about Bradenton Hope Fest that is coming up but um, I'll share a little bit more of that at the end so if you'd stick around and also if you're logging in live right now love to connect with you hey Kevin how are you Mr. Chamberless nice to see you <gasps> Kevin Kevin's awesome and uh, we want to um, Answer any questions that you have, even pray for you, so stick out to the end. Now, this is the type of video, we didn't ask you the last couple of videos, um, it was more of a, a step into something like this, um, where this is the type of video that will be a blessing to others that you share with. Uh, other yeah. Christians and people, believers who are already maybe walking with the Lord, but need that jolt 
of, of the anointing and to be filled with the Holy Spirit and, and get encouragement into walking in the gifts that God has for you. Hi, Sakinia. How are you? Nice to see you. <gasps> London. Our friend from London. Yay. She has a great testimony. Amen. So it would be a blessing for you to share this. It would be um, great if you'd share it as you're logging in. If we don't know you, where you're logging in from, we know uh, some of you who already logged in and where you're from. But for anybody else who'd uh, check in and, and we, don't, we, don't, we don't know you, don't know us, let us get acquainted. Let us get to know you and where you're logging in from. It would be a blessing to us, right, honey? Yes. So I want you to open your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. That's where we're going to start. And I want to share something with you from the Word of God there. Thank you for everybody logging in. Share this in our ministry page. Again, grab your Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And we're going to start from verse 6. This is talking specifically to the church, to believers. And this is Paul sharing with us about God's wisdom and, um, and what he's prepared for each one of us. So this will be a blessing to you. Let me just share this in one more place here. Okay, so here we go. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. Man, what a timely word even for us today. Ah, I was just thinking <laughs> as you read that. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Man, we've had some conversations around our household and mm. that, that I haven't really had the liberty to share with you guys because it's not my place if God didn't release me to talk about it to you. But yeah. we as the body of Christ, ought to be taking on the message of wisdom, not from the world, but from yeah. the Word of God. And that's why we have this right here. No, we declare God's wisdom, mm -hmm. a mystery that has been hidden, that God destined for our glory before time began. Did you know that God has destined for your glory mysteries to be revealed unto you? Listen to what he's saying. He's saying that these mysteries were hidden but they weren't hidden forever. You know how people say, like, all oh, the mysteries of God. How would, If I would ever know, like, how the mysterious ways of God work. Yes, the mysterious ways of God. So mysterious. <laughs> you just never know. You just never know. What is, is he going to heal you? Or is he gonna, not going to heal you? What is is God he going to let that tornado take you out or not? We, we, you we, just we, don't we, know. We never, we'd never know God's will for our life. It's just a mystery. It's too hard. You know, God gave us this book, and through this yeah. book, through His Holy Spirit and this book, mm -hmm. He reveals to us by His Spirit these mysteries. Here's what He has to say about it. That these mysteries were actually destined to us for our glory before time even began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. Amen? Yeah. And we talk about that, even that verse. We go, oh yeah, no eye has seen, no ear has heard. But here's what it's saying. Read the rest of the verse. These are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. As a child of God, we, are, we ought to be in full expectation of the revelation of these mysteries. That God has prepared for us. Hallelujah. You know, I spent a long time as a Christian having no idea about these mysteries. And being completely blindsided to the gifts and the calling of God. To the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. I didn't start laying hands on the sick and expecting them to really be healed. Yeah. Until I had been far well into my Christianity. And then I started receiving anointed preaching and teaching about the Word of God concerning these things. Well... But here we are. <laughs> I mean, we can That's miss, all I can say. I mean, here we are. We can miss right? a big part of our lives if we're not connected to these things, if we're not having these revelations to us and receiving them and operating in them. So he says, these things God has revealed to us. And then he says, the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows this person's thoughts except 
their own spirit within them. In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. But guess what? Mm. We have the spirit of God. Inside. So we ought to know the thoughts of God. We do. Amen. We do. Yes. According to this word, we do. Yes, we do. So never say again that you don't. Never say again, I don't know what God wants. Actually, you should never say again, I don't know what to do. Because if the Holy Spirit lives inside of you, you ought to know what to do. And rather than confessing something that is uh, uh, against the word of God, we ought to be saying, man, I have the spirit of God in me. I know exactly what to do. I just need to dig into the spirit of God. I just need to commune with him and ask him. And I know all things. Amen. Because he knows all things. So on that note of confession and confessing that. So one of the things that I do with the kids, I've done in the past, if they get in the car and they say, mom, and we're on the way to school and they go, mom, I did not study for that test. And, And they're having like a moment, you know, I usually say to them, say this with me. I have the mind of Christ. Amen. He makes my mind of a quick understanding. Amen. So we just start declaring things and they go and they take the test. And then later I talk to them and I kid you not, his mercy endures forever. Yep. So it's not a lost cause. It's no time for you to be beating your kids down. You know, they already know they should have studied. But at that point, what you can do is you can lead them in the, the, in the confessions that align with the word of God. And let the Lord do the miraculous in their lives when they'll see that they're taking the test and suddenly they know the answer and they know the answer. And he reminds me of things the teacher showed them. And then they come home and they're like, you know what? I did pretty good on that test. Amen. It's really, we need to have mercy on our kids and, and help them. That's right. And, and we help them not by condemning them. No, that never works. But rather by calling on God's mercy mm-hmm. and his gifts and the manifestation of his Holy Spirit so that they can overcome. And that happens with us too. Mm-hmm. Man, how many times can, we can receive mercy for something yeah. that we have failed at? Perhaps we mm-hmm. didn't prepare for something the way that we should have or didn't complete a task the way that we should have. And yet, rather than condemning ourselves or allowing the enemy to just grind us down to condemnation, mm-hmm. we can just say, you know what, God, by your mercy, by your spirit, it's not by power nor by might, but by your mm-hmm. spirit, yeah, you will accomplish this in my life and it will come to fruition. And that's God's right wisdom. Sleep. That's we have received not the spirit of the world, the yep. next verse says, but the spirit who is from God so that we may understand what God has freely given us we're talking about mysteries Mm -hmm. paul is talking about these mysteries that were freely given to us that we might know that have been freely given to us by god that the things that have been freely given to us by god in the new king james it says so these are things that God freely gives to us. But just like any gift sitting under a tree, until mm-hmm. you open it up, until yeah. you put it to use, you'll never benefit from the gift. You'll never actually uh, experience the gift in your life. Hello, mm-hmm. Michelle. How are you doing? Hi, Betty. Nice to see you. And Doris, nice to see you. So we need to be like little children or pastor uses this all the time when christmas comes they grab that gift some of them don't even like shake it nothing they rip the papers off and they open it up and they immediately go into playing with it right we need to be like that with the gifts from god amen he says we have prophecy we have speaking in other tongues we have the gift of healing the gift of faith we need to open those presents up and say, yes, I got it. I got it because you say I got it. Nothing like little children also to want to know mysteries, right? You can, yeah. you can, try, you can try to have code conversations in between parents and the children are always like, what are you saying? What are you talking about? They're always trying to find out what's the mystery behind the thing. They're always curious to like learn more. Hey, yeah. Miss Joy, how you doing? So we, you know, we... We can actually learn a lot from children and rather than saying, okay, well, this is a closed book. Who shall know the mysteries of God? Except for maybe the priests and the ministers and teachers and people who really, the theologians. You know, it takes good theologians to mess up a lot of doctrine. 
um, because you, you can get very head minded as well. The, the Bible reveals things to our hearts. And if you're ready to receive right now, and if the people that you're sharing this video, they're ready to receive right now, you can open your eyes, your ears, your spiritual eyes and your heart to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit in your life that will provide for change, deep change within you that will activate things. If you if you receive what we're talking about here in, in the spirit of God. You will actually feel the power of God come upon you and, and God will demonstrate to you his presence and allow you to, to, to operate in new levels. Mm -hmm. uh, this happened to me when we first started learning about these things and I started getting into worship and I started believing this. All of this has to be mixed with faith in order to be activated, these mysteries. And, uh, and we're going to read about some of these mysteries in a little bit here. But one of the things that I started hearing about a lot in, in regards to healing really impacted me in the Word of God. And I started believing the fact that God is a healer today. Jesus never changed. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And in that constant of Jesus, He is still a healer, and He still operates through people as He did in the book of Acts about mm -hmm. matters of healing. So God started to physically manifest Himself unto my hands, and I felt vibrations that I couldn't explain and they were going like as if they were going from here to here and my hands were heavy and I asked the Lord what is this father and he said I want you to lay hands on the sick and you will see them recover and I, I, I typically check things with the Lord a couple times and, and that's what he was uh, urging me to do and by faith again how crazy is that all of a sudden, I'm, I, I've been a Christian for some time, but all of a sudden, the Lord is telling me to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Yeah. So it still takes that step of faith to do it. Yeah. I was driving Uber at the time. We were broke at the time. <laughs> and I happened to, at, the, at a bus station while I just dropped somebody off and I was sitting eating a sandwich. A couple comes up and they start... Uh, telling me how they were in deep trouble. I, I approached them to minister the gospel to them, and they told me how much deep trouble they were. Long story short, they get in my car because somebody blessed them with a gift card, and on the way to Publix, the Lord said to ask them if they need anything to, uh, and, and if they need any healing. So I was doing them a favor to just driving them in Publix, not charging them. Uh, this is the, the grocery store here in the pharmacy. And, um, and, and they said, um, yeah, uh, he needs healing. And when I asked him, do, do, do you, either one of you need healing? He said, yes, he needs healing. And you see his belly. It was a thin guy, but his belly was popped out to here. He has uh, stomach issues. And I reached back and I touched him. And by the power of God, praise God. And this is like completely new to me. Mm -hmm. And it blew me like away completely because I saw his stomach shrink. And he, his uh, his composure, his demeanor was completely changed, and he was immediately healed by the power of God in that moment, to where he they were rejoicing. They were gonna spend this gift card that they had on medicine. They didn't know whether they were gonna spend it on on his medicine or food, and they they knew at that moment he was healed. They they spent it on food. They got back in the car. I drove him back to the to the bus station, and I I even videoed the guy. And he was completely healed in her face. I mean, it's amazing. So, and yeah. and why did I get his video? So I could show that testimony in jail, what I was ministering as well. Mm -hmm. And that, that led to other people in jail at that point in Sarasota County Jail to be uh, ministered to and healed as well. Praise God forevermore. Amen. Praise God forevermore. Why? Because I took a stand uh, in, in faith about something that is in the word of God. And then when I heard from God about that matter, I immediately acted on it because he revealed to me a mystery that was predestined for my glory. Hallelujah. That's fun. I mean, this is what the word says. A mystery that has been hidden and that God predestined for our glory. I mean, it's his glory in us. Either way, I can't heal a fly's eyeball, as Brother Hagen would say, <laughs> right? But, but God can, and he uses us to do it. That's exactly right. That's what he did, Amen. right? When he sent Jesus. That's right. So go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I'm going to show you this. It's going to encourage you, and it's going to encourage anybody you're sharing this broadcast with as well. Hello, Melissa Jansen. How are you? 
We're coming to North Carolina, actually, at the end of the month. So here we go. Chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual, and the word gift here is, is in italics, which means it was added. So in other words, here it's saying, now concerning spiritual things, or the spiritual brethren. I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles. Now this comes from the same book in which Paul is talking about the revelation of these mysteries unto, unto us. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however, however you were led. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus a curse, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but one and the same Spirit works all these things, distribu distributing to each one individually as He wills. Now, this is not pertaining to, this is not saying that each person only gets one of these things. This is saying that the Holy Spirit, based on His provision for us in the ability that He needs us to operate in, will disperse these gifts to us at the times that we need them. Amen. So we had a, a word of wisdom just happened yesterday. Oh. It was amazing. So cool. We could not, just to bring our kids back into the pile, we, could, <laughs> we, we couldn't leave for school because one of our sons had wax stuck in his ear. I did it. So, you know, Q-tip goes in and pushes the wax a little too far and boom, now you got a plugged ear. Yeah. This has happened to him before, so we had the, the solution to put in the ear that you leave there for a little bit and then try to get it out. Well, mm -hmm. we did that. Didn't work. Mm -hmm. He still got his ear plugged. Now he's and now he's starting headache. to get a yeah. Starting to get a headache. Mm -hmm. And I I hugged him before I went to school. And I held him and I closed my eyes. And immediately as I closed my eyes, I saw it perfectly a gesture into taking a piece of toilet paper, holding the, the, the side of it and twisting it in such a way that it made it a, a little twist of toilet paper with a little tiny toilet paper spoon at the end. <laughs> I said, uh, I'm trying to imagine things. I don't want to do anything, cause things to get worse. Right. So I said, maybe we'll do another round of that treatment and we'll pour the oil, oil in back into his ear. And something told me, no, close your eyes again. So I held them again and I closed my eyes and immediately I saw the same exact instructions. I'm not that smart. I, I, I realized, you know what, Lord, are you speaking medical. to me? So I grabbed it and I did exactly as I saw it. I grabbed a few pieces of toilet paper and I rolled it. And as I am putting it inside his ear, I'm twisting and I'm twisting and I'm twisting and slowly it's going in. Now, I'm not telling you to do this to your children. Please hear the Lord. The, here what I'm saying here is I was listening to the Holy Spirit. This was a word of wisdom. As soon as I put it in and I pulled it out, the entire plug came out of wax. Hallelujah. It's pretty awesome. Praise Jesus forevermore. But at the same time that you were doing that, I was downstairs in our little bathroom seeking the Lord. Because when Jesus did miracles, right? He never did anything unless he saw the Father do it. Right. Unless he heard the Father, you know, Say that it. whole thing with the with the ears and with the mud in the eyes and all these things the Lord got from God. Yeah. So I'm downstairs checking my heart. Do I command it to come out? Right. Do I speak to it? What do I do? And I had nothing. I was nothing. I was like, okay, well, that and here's a little lesson. Don't just try to throw 
something at the wall and see if it sticks you know like Please. will will this work and it hurts your faith yeah you're better off getting quiet and hearing from god yeah like he got quiet and heard from god and did exactly that instead of what if you sat there screaming at that wax to come out because you're told you just you talk to it right you talk to it it's a mountain get it out get it out but that that wasn't the plan the plan was like get the toilet paper roll it up and do that exact thing at this point i could have been screaming in jesus name come out all i want and jesus was like that's not that's not even an told instruction the Holy Spirit to show you to do <laughs> so it ain't gonna work <laughs> that's right so the point is that was a manifestation of the gift yeah of a manifestation of the holy spirit it was it, it took me to separate myself from the situation and get in with the lord and ask him what yeah. to do and then he manifested i don't know how many times during healing meetings that we've had that uh you know in the middle of a sentence like this uh the lord will point out somebody with a certain condition and yeah. give me a word of knowledge and by his spirit God is revealing to me who in the room has a specific thing like, I don't know, something wrong with their toenail one time. Uh, you know, out of 12 people one time, it was a, a it was bladder a issue. Uh, it, it, you know, the, the, the Lord knows yeah, who is in the room and it doesn't matter how many people are in the room. If I'm discerning and listening for what the God, for what the Lord has to say, I'm activating these mysteries into my life because I believe that these gifts are for me that I can operate in them and I open my mouth and sure enough, he brings somebody forward and somebody gets healed. And all of these gifts operate by love. Yes. So it's his love wanting to be manifested to cause change into people's lives. God right now is seeking after you. He's radically in love with you. And he is seeking for ways to reach out to you. Even through this broadcast, he's speaking to you and trying to get you to walk a little closer and trying to get you to operate in, in his kingdom a little more, yeah. to be activated in his things a little more. Because everything that we do that is in operation, in cooperation with the Holy Spirit has eternal value. Eternal value. Amen. And he wants us to have these eternal rewards with him but we must get in deeper we must get into those deep things of god and 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 walk into these mysteries and, and seek for the revelation of these mysteries and i believe that's what he's doing today in the broadcast let me show you this he talked about all these different gifts and then it talks about for the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, uh, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. I ask you today, drink of the Spirit of God. Be part of the body of Christ in operation. Don't be the lazy leg that doesn't function right. <laughs> Drink of the same spirit that the body of Christ is drinking from. It is a fountain that never runs dry. God is reaching out to you right now to walk in to deeper things with Him. And we want to talk to you more about this. And we're going to talk to you more about it next Wednesday as well. I know I don't want to keep this very long. I want to keep it to about 30 minutes each time. But uh, stay in tune with what God is saying to you, mm -hmm. with how God wants to reveal himself to you. Put no blocks or limitations in his ability to speak to you. He speaks to us in many ways. How has he spoken to you lately? Me? Yeah. Well... I think sometimes we wait for really spectacular things for the Lord to use us in. Right. But we miss it in the little things that He wants to use us in. So the other day I went to Publix and I bought, we have Publix in Florida, and we have like BOGO, like you buy some strawberries and then you get a box of strawberries for free, right? Little strawberries, not strawberries, raspberries. 
and I bring him to work and I have two things of raspberries. I put them in the fridge and I'm sitting in my office and I'm working. And the Holy Spirit says to me, give a box to Jenny. I'm like, Jenny, okay, well, I'm, I'm, it's just me because I love her, so I want to give her some raspberries. Comes up again, give Jenny the raspberries. Well, I've learned to be quick to obey, and I'm a giver. I love to give. So I go, I text Jenny, you know, she's in the office next door. But I, I think I texted her, I, Jenny, I have some raspberries. Would you like some? Uh, get some raspberries. And she goes, oh, you wouldn't believe. I, I was, I was going to buy some, but I didn't buy them. And then I had these blueberries, and they went bad, and I was going to eat yogurt. And I didn't have any berries for the yogurt, but now I have raspberries for the yogurt. And it was just like this simple whisper of what he wanted to do for Jenny because he loves Jenny and he wanted to use me and he gave me the good deal at Publix and he gave me extra. So now he was like, hey, give him to Jenny. And so maybe Jenny, the next day or then the night, day after we'll need to be reminded about God's faithfulness maybe in a financial realm maybe in something bigger and, and now there's this and it's bigger than that listen the, the what you're saying and I'm tying into all of this and the, the little things that are witnesses mm -hmm. of Maria's connection with the Lord of your connection with God show up in your life to them to the point where when somebody needs somebody needs to go to the doctor about something you know what the oh, first yeah. thing it is that they do they text me <laughs> somebody was getting a shot the, the new COVID shot right and they were like i wish you were going with me with the power of jesus so i and somebody I else minister. dealing with a medical issue that came to you and said i'll pr pray for me before i oh, go to the doctor they had like a lump so they already fought breast cancer so it was it's a scary thing for them I, and they worked with me i just was there very fresh and they said no i'm i'm not going to the doctor i'm gonna go see maria <laughs> but as a matter of fact i missed it on that one because i prayed for the thing to go and she went and all it was is was a stitch that just moved but you know <laughs> but you your <laughs> life can be such witness to people that they're yeah. actually seeking out for a connection to god and what you do at that point then is bring him closer to Jesus yeah Because it's not about us taking the glory for it it's no. not about uh, us showing up big in their lives it's about us bringing them close to Jesus who will show up big in their lives and who will carry them and who will be the one that one that they they go to when they need help um, but yeah you we can live as witnesses when we're operating in the gift now if we're living like anybody else in the world you know, yeah. look at uh, what Melissa just shared. She prayed for her hairdresser today and uh, and she got healed of her ulcerative colitis. That sounds painful. Ulcerative colitis. Oh, it's like the colon. She, she was also sore. freed from anxiety. So praise God. We can be such witnesses in the marketplace where 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 we go, um, where we are in our families and people like you know the the gatherings that we have with our friends we can be such a witness mm -hmm. that people are coming and wanting to connect with the god that we serve amen yep if we're operating in these things if we're operating in these gifts if we live like the rest of the world then we're we're, we're not walking in the power that's being demonstrated um that is demonstrating god in Plus, our lives they won't be able to find us if we're just like the world they won't be looking My for you. My friend won't be able to find me at work because I'm going right. to look just like the other weeds. That's exactly right. Right? There's weeds and then there's us. Yep. And he lets them both grow. So if I'm not shining the light, if I'm not being the light, they can't find me. And they just go on with the same issues. That's right. Right? That's right. Yep. God has predestined things for us. He has put us to connect. He has put us in this world to connect with specific people that when we're operating in His grace, we're able to connect with and we're able to change destinies and bring people to His kingdom when we're activated into His things. But if we're dormant and we let life go pass us by, 
we we're, we're not we're, we're missing out and we actually end up hooking up with a bunch of people that we're, we shouldn't be hooking up with or you know living life with people we shouldn't be living life with so i pray for you right now and everybody who's in this broadcast and um if you would share this broadcast i want to pray with everybody right now as well who uh may be logging in maybe you have been apart from god or have been walking let, let's put it this way i believe that a lot of people have been walking with god for a long time know jesus is lord but have not connected with His power, have not had these mysteries revealed to them. And I want to pray for you right now that God will impart into you a level of faith to receive these things and to operate in them. Um, maybe you have never dedicated Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and I want to give you an opportunity to do that as well. There's nothing better in life than knowing that you were made for a purpose, that you have a calling, from an almighty God who created us, and that we get to spend eternity in heaven with Him, avoiding hell, and, and having eternity and peace, and, and, and living a victorious life on earth by His power. So I want to invite you to these things. If you've never given your life to Jesus, I want you to repeat after me, Father God, I thank you for creating me in your image. And I thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for me, to die for my sins. Father, forgive me from anything I may have done wrong. And Father, I choose to forgive right now anybody who has done me wrong. I release them to you. And I say, you deal with them. They owe me nothing. Mm. Father, I thank you that Jesus didn't stay on the cross or on the tomb. But that on the third day, you raised him from the dead. And he's seated with you today. So, Father, I declare right now that Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. I receive your cleansing. I receive your Holy Spirit. Fill me and use me for your purposes. And I will follow you, Jesus, all of the days of my life. If you said this, if you said this prayer, I want you to connect with us. I want you to Text the number on the screen right now, 941-205-7474 with I am born again. And you might as well just declare it right now. I am born again of a new family. I am saved. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and text us. I am born again. And um, we will connect with you. We want to pray with you and even send you a gift. If you believe God has more for you in the kingdom of God. I want you to repeat this after me. Father, by the power of your Holy Spirit, I receive the gifts, the manifestations of your Holy Spirit in my life. Show me what part do I have in your kingdom and use me for your mighty works accomplished on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 If you really mean it, then God will reveal to you new things. Just as he revealed to me, just as he continues to reveal to me more of his mysteries and things. And, and just as we continue to operate in the grace of God more and more. God is a God of increase and he will never stop your growth into his things. And we're believing with you. You go ahead and text us as well. Uh, if you want to partner up with us in any way, if you believe that the work of the ministry is something that uh, you want to partner with in the spreading of the ministry and to the ends of the world, according to Mark 16, 15 through 18, which is our, our scripture for the ministry, I want to give you ways to give. You can hashtag donate right on the comment box right now. We'll make sure that you're linked straight to our donation page. So it's hashtag donate. You can go to Cash App which is like giving play money. <laughs> it's 
You don't even Not feel really. that it's going. It does leave your bank Jonathan showed us what it says that it makes sense. Uh, it's the money sign, DBM give. If you give via PayPal, go to theborrowsministries.org slash PayPal, or you can send it by mail to the Borrows Ministries, a P.O. Box 2575, Sarasota, Florida, 34230. All of this also can be found at theborrowsministries.org slash give. So you can give at theborrowsministries.org slash give as well. If you um, haven't connected with updates for our next event for Bradenton Hope Fest, um, our next big outreach, I should say, because our next event is next week. Yeah. Um, but connect with Bradenton Hope Fest and uh, go to BradentonHopeFest.com and sign up for updates or sign up to volunteer. Man, we're going to have thousands of people being blessed in a community. We're going to have tons of people giving their lives to Christ and connecting to the churches. I have spent this week and last week meeting with the pastors from the region in Pride Park in Bradenton where we're having the event. And everybody has been praying for this to happen. God is connecting his purpose with the people that are assigned and, and been destined to bring this purpose to pass. So we're so excited about what the work that the Lord is doing and bringing the community together. It's not about Renan. It's not about Maria. It's not about the Barrows Ministries, but it's about a community coming together to bless the socks off out of a community that really needs it. So we're going to bless him with gifts and things and the, the word of God. Praise God. And it's going to be a blessing. The next thing is, and I don't have this on the screen here, but if you go to the Ministries.org, you will see we have there our next meeting and this is going faith to be awesome and finances it's faith and finances what a time we're living right now what better time do we have to come together as a body of christ to increase in our knowledge and in, in in our in our operation and financial means for the kingdom of god so that we can increase and be able to fund more into the end time harvest and to be able to to grow and be blessed by the Lord and operate in blessings, but also into doing of the kingdom of God and in and, and higher capacity because it takes money to preach the gospel. So if you're like a small group leader in your church or you have a Bible study, right? Grab those people, sign up, come your uh the people that are sitting in your homes for these bible studies and small groups they will be fed faith about finances listen in this time that we're living right now people just found out you cannot depend on the government to do things right to get things right i think it's a big giant lesson for all of us the saved and the unsaved and so we need to get our faith strengthened in the Lord and learn how to use these principles and, and where to find the word about being provided for, your Amen. families being provided for, the goodness of God. So my sister Jade and Renan are going to be teaching and it's going to be phenomenal. I just know it. I can, I'm excited about I'm going to be there. Please tell your friends, share this. Um, you can probably get the link. We'll, we'll yeah, the Bar's Ministries dot org, and if you go on our our page, you'll see also a link to the Eventbrite event, so that you can RSVP. And through our SVPs, we know that you're going to be there. There are two nights, so it's it's a two night it's event. Hours. So it's not the same event both nights. You pick one night or the other. You come to both nights, and you will be filled with with what God has to say in your life because if he's ordained you to be there then you don't want to miss it right it's going to be at a beautiful place Art Ovation Hotel in downtown Sarasota and that's next Tuesday and Wednesday 19th and 20th of January so put aside what's going on in the world get together as the body of Christ yeah. and increase for the capacity and calling that he has for all of us amen amen i'm, I'm very excited, excited about it yeah, it's gonna be too. awesome praise god it's always good so thank you so much we love you we'll see you next wednesday with another one of these advancing the kingdom of god amen